Hello, my name is Nicole. I'm an Australian teacher based in Dubai. I teach high school students maths, science, technology and STEM. I'm applying to become a Google certified trainer because I want all students to access authentically engaging, creative and collaborative learning environments. It brings me joy to share ideas with fellow educators and I do so through professional development, my blog and YouTube channel. I'm looking forward to an opportunity to join the community of trainers from around the world to share ideas in hopes of enhancing teaching and learning. Today's tip is about how to use Google Sheets to create an interactive game for your students. First, we'll need to have a pixel diagram created like the one here, and we'll use the fill color button to change the colors of the cells. Next, we'll need to create our questions and answers. So let's say we've got the question five times three, and the answer is 15. We want to have the pixels only appear once the correct answer 15 has been placed into the cell B2. So we're going to use something called conditional formatting. First, we'll select a couple of the cells that we want to have appear in the picture. We'll then go to Format, Conditional Formatting. And we can see the conditional formatting will apply to the cells that we've selected. We want to change the format rules such that it's a custom formula. To begin the formula, we'll type equals. We want to select the answer cell. So that's the cell B2. And we're going to do an absolute reference here. So dollar sign B, dollar sign 2. We want to say when this cell does not equal to, so it is not equal to, has these symbols, the answer 15. Then we want to color the selected cells in a white color. So it looks like it's not there or it has disappeared. Okay. And finally, let's check that that works. So if a student has not placed the correct answer, these cells will be white. When students put in the correct answer 15, then the cells will be appearing. This can be applied to all subject areas and we can have word answers and answers with symbols as well. Thank you for your time and I hope that you enjoyed this Google tip.